Hi, Kathy Ramirez here. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about why and how you should use emotions in your marketing. So, there's really only two components to marketing. There's strategy and there's tactics. The strategy is your game plan, it's your foundation, it's, it's why you're doing what you're doing. And to have a good strategy is always the first and most critical piece to any kind of marketing. You should be intentional about what you're doing. You shouldn't just do things without thinking about them. Tactics is the way that you can fulfill your strategy, the way that you can achieve your goals. And many times people do tactics without the strategy. And that's a bad idea. Because if you don't have a strategy and you implement a bunch of tactics, that means you're just reacting to everything. If you see something, you see somebody doing some other kind of marketing thing, you're like, oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to do that. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to do that. 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 But you really have no direction in which way you're trying to go or who you're trying to go after or what kind of feelings you're trying to evoke in people and how they're going to connect to what you do. And that's where emotions come in. In any good strategy, you really want to hit people on an emotional level. You want to reach them through their emotions. And the first thing that you need to figure out is what kind of emotion do you want to evoke? Like, how do you want them to feel about what you're doing? Do you want to make them happy, sad, infuriated, mad? Um, do you want them to feel just um, connected or part of a bigger movement? And if you're trying to evoke emotions in marketing, it's always a process. Anytime I'm working with clients and we're trying to come up with any kind of idea, whether it's an idea for a tagline, an idea for a new marketing campaign, we first go through this process of doing everything, listing out everything that would be cliche. Like what would you expect us to be saying or expect us to be doing? What would people think right away? What would they think that you would, they would think you're gonna be doing? That would be cliche. And then and only then can you move to um, something that's creative. Like a lot of people think that creative people just pull creative ideas out of their head. And we do sometimes, but most of the time it's because we're thinking about cliche things all the time as well. So if you want to evoke emotions in your marketing, um, the first thing that you need to do is figure out what kind of emotion do you want to evoke and then run yourself through a process of going, okay, let's get all the cliche ideas and thoughts out. Let's write them out on a piece of paper and then let's move into something creative. And then test your creativity. Test it on people to see how they react and how they emotionally react to it. Um, and make that part of your strategy and always, always use a strategy when you're doing marketing. Don't ever just be that person that's gonna react to what everybody else is doing. You do what you should do and don't worry about everybody else. All right, well that's my tip for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.